guys, we're gonna do some beautiful beef ribs in my Pit Boss vertical smoker coming up. What's up fans of barbecue? I'm CJ from CJ's Q. Glad you're here with me in my backyard. You know, it's not quite the beautiful day here in Southern California, but that's all right. We're going to power through. It's a little cloudy, a little drizzly, a little rainy, but you know, we got coverage. We got a smoker here. Let's put it to use. We are going to do some beef ribs, big old dino ribs on the Pit Boss vertical smoker. It's going to be amazing. Uh, we are going to just do a simple cook on these. Uh, we are not going to wrap them. We're going to cook it at 275 and we're just going to let them go. All right. No wrap, we're just gonna let the smoke hit it, that heat hit it, build that crust, that bark, and it's gonna be amazing. I kid you not, all right? First thing I did on these bad boys was last night, so we'll take you back in time on this overlay. Um, I trimmed them up, trimmed that cap meat off because that, uh, when I leave that on, I tend to need to wrap it and braise it because that meat is very tough. So I trimmed that part off, I cleared off all that fat, all that silver skin, made it real nice i used my new doll strong fillet knife and it just sliced through like butter it was easy as can be took no time at all doll strong sent me the knives you'll be seeing in my videos they're amazing that quantum series oh it's so cool i'll put a link down to dollstrong.com not an affiliate link just a link to get there so you can check out their goods good stuff all right so uh after i got them all trimmed up i put a little heath riles jalapeno everyday rub stuff is awesome it's a great all-purpose rub that little jalapeno kick in there not hot just you can tell it's there and then i added some beef rub from hey grill hey i'll put the links down from heathbrowsbarbecue.com and hey grill hey down below if you guys want to check it out uh, again not affiliates i actually paid for their stuff so that's it we let it sit overnight in the fridge uncovered uh, let that seasoning penetrate the meat it's gonna be awesome, trust me, all right? I'm excited for this one, I'm excited to use my smoker. I'm back, we'll get these beef rubs in here. I'm doing other cooks today on this, so you might see other items in there, but we're concentrating on the beef ribs today. Uh, like I said, 275 for as long as it takes to get probe tender. Uh, we're gonna take it to 200 degrees or so, but we were just gonna be checking for uh, uh, probe tender, okay? All right, come on back. All right, we're gonna get this bad boy set up. Turn it on. All right, we're gonna get it back, dial it back to 275. Let it come up to temperature. Put our uh, put our ribs in there. We're ready to go. All right, so we're gonna let this go. We have it uh, running up to temperature. As you can see, we're gonna burn off all that extra white smoke. No one wants that on their uh, meat. It's gonna take a little while to get up to temperature, so we'll let that run through. Once it gets to 275. Ready to go. I have the meat probe already in the ribs. Good to go. Rock dirty smoke is cleared. Rub the tip. It's time to get the studs on. Water in the water pan. We're doing bone sides down towards the heat. And it should be a, a nice leisurely cook we'll spritz it every half hour uh, these are going to be amazing all right guys we're a half hour or so in you see it's got some uh, st louis style ribs on there bark is not quite setting up obviously we got some time i'm gonna do a little spritz just got a little uh, juice and water in there remember smoke loves moisture so that's what we're gonna do all right, we're a couple hours in, temping out at 165, but again, we're not going to wrap these. We are going to just keep smoking them all. Got some pullback happening. Looking pretty good. All right, so we're, uh, the bark's drying, dried a little bit. Yep, yeah, it's looking good. Uh, this little drip edge is from <laughs> those. So, but the bark is set, so we're good. Nothing's coming off. All right, let's get 
give a little spritzy spritz while we're here. This is gonna be some good eating for sure. Okay, five hours in. Looking pretty good. It's temping out at 186. The probe in. It's going in pretty good. See the temperature on my Thermo Pro is a bit higher. I think maybe another hour or so, we'll be good to go. All right guys, the lighting is crap in here. I'm sorry, it's got, the day has gotten a little bit away from us, but it's still looking good. Could uh, probe it. Oh, it's going in like butter, boys and girls. Like butter. All right, so here's the deal. We're gonna take this off here there we go a little bit better view so pretty good there's a better look look at that back so my buddy Johnny Max would say look at that back look at that oh yeah all right so got a little tin foil we're gonna loosely wrap it up let it rest for about half hour 45 minutes We'll cut into it. Okay, team, we're ready to cut into this bad boy. About six hours of smoke. Stop it. Look at that. Look at that smoke ring. Juicy, tender, delicious. All right, let's get another slice out of this thing. Oh. Guys, that's no wrap. That's just straight up. Look at that juice. Aye, it's hot. Look at the juice. All right, let's try one of these things. We cut a little bit off of one. Look at that. That smoke ring. Mm. Oh my gosh. You guys have to try this. This is awesome. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right. I got my little helpers, Grady and Brady, with me right now. We're going to cut little pieces for them. We're going to let them try it on camera. You guys hustling over here. Okay, monkeys. Okay. Let's try it. Get these little pieces right here. Chicken. Take whatever piece you want. All right, you're really close. Back up, Brady. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? They're adequate. They're adequate. Mm. Are they that good? Brady, mm. tell me about it. They're good. So good. Well, I am so now juicy. stealing this other piece. So oh. juicy. Oh, that a boy. Good? Yeah. All right, all There's right. a little bit of spice, but it's good. Well, that's that ten. jalapeno rub from he's he's ten brown. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten? Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. All that's right, good. so people watching oh, this so. right now, what should they do? Make it. And Make it. Subscribe. Subscribe. Like. Leave a like. Comment down below. 110,000 oh, likes. Okay. All right, so we're right here. I'm going to take the test test after the monkeys already did. Look at that smoker. Just look at that. That's just amazing. Oh. Nobody. Just bring it on. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Hey, no comments over there. Nobody likes biting. No, no, no one likes biting. <laughs> this is money. Give it a shot. Mmm. See, you don't always have to wrap with this brisket on a stick. It's so good, guys. I appreciate you hanging out with me in the backyard today and in the kitchen because it got a little dark outside. If you're not subscribed to CJ's Q, make sure you hit that red subscribe button and that bell next to it. If you're back, part of the crew, CJ's Q crew, you like how I did that right there? I appreciate you being here. Have a great week. I'll see you next time out in the backyard. Take care.